Hello, I'm Org, and this video will be the first in a series where I review the time I spent with a vehicle that I no longer have in my garage. In this video, we say farewell to the Fiat CR42, an Italian Battle Tier 1.3 biplane fighter. The CR42 was the single most produced Italian aircraft of the Second World War remaining in production up until the armistice in 1943 and continuing to fly in the Luftwaffe on anti-partisan duties after this date. However, in 1940 when Italy entered the war, it was already obsolete. The first thing everybody notices about the CR-42 is that it is a biplane and unlike most biplane fighters, the CR-42 was just entering service in 1939. It had become obvious that the production of the newer monoplane fighters, such as the Fiat G-50 and the Marchi MC-200, would be delayed. So the Regia Aeronautica allowed the CR-42 to be produced to temporarily fill the gap. You may be wondering why Italy would produce a biplane fighter after aircraft such as the Hurricane, Spitfire, British Schmidt 109 and I-16 were in service with other air forces. To answer that question we will have to discuss the Italian Air Doctrine. Officially the Regia Aeronautica supported the theories of Giulio Dohe regarding strategic air warfare. Unofficially, Amadeo Mercosi and his focus on ground support also had significant backing. The only thing that these two thinkers had in common is that they both believed fighters were next to useless. Writing long before radar was developed, Duhay argued that given the short warning times available, there was no way a fighter aircraft could successfully climb to intercept a high altitude high speed bomber before it reached its target. Therefore, there was no point having interceptors, and also no need for escort fighters to protect the bombers. From his point of view, fighters were a complete waste of resources. Mikosi largely agreed, however he believed that fighter aircraft would still have a limited role to play by patrolling over friendly troop concentrations to defend against reconnaissance aircraft and low altitude bombers, and also as escorts to friendly ground attack aircraft. However, in this more limited role, fighter aircraft would not need to be fast nor to have high rates of climb. This was because the target ground attack and recon planes tended to fly at low altitudes and low speeds. Instead, the emphasis was on maneuverability so that the aircraft could avoid enemy fire and gain a positional advantage in combat. Because of the limited role that fighter aircraft were expected to play and the disregard for speed and rate of climb, biplanes could easily meet the expectations of the Regia Aeronautica. In War Thunder, the CR 42 is characterised by its high rate of roll but low speed and sluggish turn time. There is only one aircraft currently in the game that I believe is comparable to the CR-42, and that is the Gladiator. The Gladiator has the advantage in terms of turn time, and I would argue firepower. However, the CR-42 has a much higher rate of roll, and a slightly higher top speed. I found that the most effective way of flying the CR-42 was to pretend to be an energy fighter. Because of the poor turn time, the CR-42 is difficult to take into a turn fight. However, it has a low speed compared to almost any other aircraft in the game, and the two 12.7mm machine guns put out fairly weak firepower, which combine to make it a very second-rate energy fighter. In short, I found this to be a difficult plane to fly effectively, largely because you'll be flying out against aircraft like the I-16, Hurricane, and the Heinkel 112 which are vastly superior. Against reserve aircraft and gladiators, the Fiat biplane can dominate. However, this is a very rare occurrence, and it is a big leap up from Battle Tier 1.3 to Battle Tier 1.7. Occasionally, I was able to use the rate of roll to cause an enemy to overshoot.
But as a general rule, once an enemy was on my tail, I was only delaying the inevitable unless help arrived. In this instance, I was able to use my rate of roll to get around behind the I-15. However, I could not capitalise on this because of my poor rate of roll and even poorer aim. Later, after a friendly aircraft came and rescued me, I was again immediately set upon by another I-15, and this time Dawn was here to save me, and I hit my end. However, the number one cause of death in CR-42 was actually collision with the ground after I seriously underestimated the ability of this aircraft to perform vertical turns. The second most common cause of death was the Chaika. The I-153 is faster, can outturn and outgun the CR-42, and has a comparable rate of roll. The only advantage the CR-42 has is a slightly superior rate of climb, which is best used to avoid the Chikers completely, as unless they are tunnel visioned, or you are a very good shot, they will be able to outfly you and kill you. My difficulty with flying this aircraft is shown in my stats. After 39 sorties in arcade and realistic, I came away with 41 air kills and 3 ground kills. Those stats aren't terrible, but nor are they anything to brag about. That's it for the CR-42, an aircraft which is more than capable of bullying the little guys, but is a long way behind most of their competition. I hope you found this video to be informative or entertaining. I'll see you all next time.